Hello, this video is a demonstration of tuning this electric guitar of my daughter. This is the same electric guitar that I have used in the previous videos for restringing an electric guitar that is modeled to Fender Stratocaster or Strat. For checking the neck of the guitar for bow and hump. For setting the action of the strings and for forming the top of the saddles to form a convex. For restringing an electric guitar that is modeled to Fender Stratocaster strap, here's the link to that video. In that video, I have demonstrated how I would place a new set of strings for an electric guitar that is modeled to Fender Stratocaster or Strat. The electric guitar strings that I have used is Roto Green's R8 Extra Light Roto Sound. For checking the neck of the guitar for bow and hump, here's the link to that video. In that video, I have demonstrated what is a hump neck and what is a bow neck. It is very important that an electric guitar is checked for bowed and hump neck as both conditions affect the action of the strings and so is the playability of the guitar. For setting the action of strings, here's the link to that video. In that video, I have demonstrated how I set the action of the strings to follow the curvature of the fretboard or fret wires. If the strings follow the curvature of the fretboard or fret wires, it is possible that the action of the strings are nearly the same or perhaps equal. And a uniform action of strings would make a guitar a lot easier to play. And for setting up the saddles to form a convex, here's the link to that video. In that video, I have demonstrated how to set the top of each saddle so that as a unit, they form a curve or convex. A guitar can be tuned to different tunings, but most of popular songs are playable to a guitar that is tuned to standard tuning. So this demonstration is tuning this electric guitar to standard tuning. The strings of a guitar are numbered the numbering goes this way, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, and number 6. So the bottom string is the number 1 and the top string is number 6. And for standard tuning, the number 1 string is tuned to E, number 2, D, number 3, G, number 4, D, number 5, A, and number six, E. And those are the letter names of the strings of the guitar. E, B, G, D, A, E. So if you are not familiar to the names or the letter names of the strings of the guitar, you can use this sentence to remember them. Easter, Bonnie got depressed after Easter. The first letter of each word is the letter name of that string and it's easy to remember as the sentence makes sense Easter Bonnie got depressed after Easter so E B G D A and E two strings are set to E the first string and the sixth string but the sixth string this one is two octaves lower than the first string. So to differentiate the two strings in terms of pitch, we refer the first string as high E and the sixth string as low E. This is low E because the pitch of this string is two octaves lower than the pitch of the first string. To guide me in tuning the strings, I will be using a digital tuner which my cousin 
Robert Bacchus gave me years ago. And here's the tuner. Samsung's CT20 tuner is a chromatic clip-on tuner with full and vivid color LCD display. The tuner is integrated with a clip. This is the clip. And it has 360 degree ball joint. So you can rotate the clip 360 degrees. And it has another 360 degree ball joint here, right here. So you can rot rotate the tuner itself 360 degrees. So the integral clip and the uh, dual 360 degree ball joints allow maximum visibility at any angle so this makes this tuner a perfect tuner for tuning the guitar and other instruments with this tuner you have two options to tune your instrument Clip activates the piezo sensor, which uses the vibrations of your instrument for tuning. Mic activates the built-in microphone, which uses the acoustic sound of your instrument for tuning. This makes the CT20 ideal for tuning in noisy environments. And this is a nice tuner as it has two modes for display. And it has a mode button that sets the tuner for guitar tuning. Right now it sets to guitar tuning. But you can also set it for tuning a bass instrument. And you can set it to chromatic tuning which helps you tune other string instruments like a violin and wind instruments like a trumpet. And it also has a transpose button for flat tuning. But before we proceed to tuning, let me trim the strings first and get rid of the unused lengths of the strings. These are the unused lengths of strings. I'll, I would like to get rid of them, so I'm gonna cut them off. I'll start with the sixth string using these Black & Decker needle nose pliers. Now they look nice to me. And here are the strings, the unused strings. I have rolled them. And I'm going to throw this immediately to trash can or trash bin to make sure that no child or no not a single kid would have a grasp 
of any of this. Okay, now so we are ready to tune the strings of the guitar. Right now the strings, all the strings are loose and I have the tuner set to guitar tuning and using the clip mode for tuning. So now we're ready. We'll start on the sixth string which must be tuned to E, low E. The needle must move to the middle and the small triangle on top of the letter is lit green and that's it. Now we can go to the fifth string which must be tuned to A. Right now it's G so we keep going. Now we see A but it's not the right one yet. The needle must turn to the middle or go to the middle and then the small triangle above the letter turns green there. Now we go to the fourth string which must be tuned to D. Now it's D, but it's not the right one yet. We have to keep turning it, tighten it, so that the small triangle on top of the letter turns green. And the needle is in the middle. There. Okay. Now we go to the number three string, which must be tuned to G. there and then we go to the number two string which must be tuned to B that's A one more step to B Now we see B, but it's not the right one. We turn slowly until the triangle at the top of the letter turns green. There. And finally, the first string, which must be tuned to E. It's now a D, so next step, our next letter should be E. Okay, now we see E, but it's not the right one yet. So we keep turning, tighten the swing, until the needle gets to the middle, and also the small triangle is lit green. So at this time, you have to turn slowly. There. We just did the tuning of the strings, but we have to do refine tuning to make sure that the other strings didn't go down. So let's check the sixth string. And as you can see, it went down. So we have to do one more cycle of the tuning. But at this time, it's not that very low. So we have to turn slowly. There. Now we go to the fifth string. It also went down. So, but not very low. It didn't went down so low. We only have to do a little more work here. So let's turn slowly and make the triangle turns green. There. Okay, now we go to the fourth string. It went down also, but not very much. So 
just a short turn there how about the third screen it also went down not much oops there and then the second screen almost the same it didn't change how about the first screen it didn't change also it didn't go down so one more round for refine tuning third round e is okay a is okay d is okay g is okay a little lower there and e is okay all the six strings were able to keep in tune or stay in tune so again e a d g b and e that's it okay now that the guitar is in tune we can now switch off the tuner take it out and test the strings play some chords sounds good for E A D and G let's do a riff looks good Okay, the guitar is in tune. So this is tuning the electric guitar that is modeled to Fender, Stratocaster, or Strat. I hope you have learned something from this demonstration and I hope you have enjoyed. And if you like this video or this content, please hit the like button. And also, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. This channel has contents, lessons, and demonstrations on how to play or use the ukulele and the guitar. At the end of this video are two end screens. One is a playlist for ukulele tutorials and demonstrations. And the other one is a playlist for the guitar lessons and demonstrations. So I have done a series of lessons regarding this model of guitar restringing, checking the neck of the guitar for bow and hum, setting the string actions, setting up the saddles to form a convex, and this one, tuning the strings, and the next would be intonation, the accuracy of the tuning, as well as the vibrating length of the strings. That will be covered under the intonation which i'm gonna upload soon so again thank you for watching have a nice day